Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I give all glory and honor and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Machah, Kadash, Barakatham. A double honor to my apostles, the great millstone. The salutations to the Akim who's pushing his truth. All diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, I hope this lesson is edifying. It's Atazawam coming back with another GMS for the knowledge. And, um, What's been on my spirit lately is um, um, watching for Satan, okay, the spiritual demon Satan, okay, um, just being sober mentally, you know, being vigilant, being circumspect, okay, um, Peter was the head disciple, okay, then an apostle, okay, he was the head, okay, and Yahweh told the head of the church that Satan desires to sift him as wheat, and that's, that's not, you can't take that lightly. If Satan desires to have you, you know, that spiritual demon Satan is going to do all he can. Whether he's going to fuck with your flesh, he's going to mess with your woman, he's going to try to discourage you, he's going to put evil, wicked thoughts in your mind against yourself, against the ministry, doubt, against the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? If Satan desiring to have us, you know. Because that's his job. See, Satan, the spiritual demon, Satan has a job. Just like we have a job. Remember in Job, the second chapter, um, there was a bet between the Most High and Satan. You know, um, always remember there was a council in heaven before you got tested. Okay? Before you get tested, there's a council in heaven before it happens, man. And to prove that you're going to kings concerning King Ahab and what happened to him. You know, and it tells you on how it was the left hand and the right hand spirits. Left hand, right hand spirits. The Lord asks a question who will go and persuade him. You know? See, that was for his ruin. Now, the men of the Lord, we get chastised and put through trials and tribulations for us to gain salvation, okay? We go through the fire, okay? The fire can either refine you or burn you. And when the scripture concerning Satan desire to have us, desire to have us, that means we're going to get put through a whole lot of trials and tests to see if we are the soldiers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and more than ever now, we have to be on point. You know, because as the ship says, our adversary, the devil, seeking whom he may devour. We got to be on point more than ever, it's because the left hand spirits are ramping up. What I mean by that is, there's a lot of folly, there's a lot of distractions, and remember, the spiritual demon, the spiritual demon Satan, can come in any avenue. Any way, to, any way, shape, form, or fashion, he can come as a, as as your woman. He can come as you know, you know, uh, a, a thought, a, a evil thought concerning a brother, so you can have um, division between the camps, between your camp or your church. And we gotta take we gotta take these things into consideration, especially more now than ever. You see, because Satan, he has he has been given the okay. But Yahweh Shai, the John the 17th chapter, has prayed for us. If we are part of that number, we have been praying. The Lord has prayed for us to continue in the faith and to keep fighting. 
So Tawari Haba Shimel Shafiret that the Lord is gonna He's not gonna put too much on us that we can't handle, you know, but we are gonna go through the, this fight, man. And more than ever that the demon of being lazy, the demon of wanting to stop, the demon of um not wanna continue um reading or the demon of trying to you know stop you from fasting, the demon that doesn't want you to pray, you know. Because it's the flesh wants to do what the flesh wants to do. And the spirit wants to do what the spirit wants to do. The spirit is the righteousness. Okay? Flesh. Satan can get to the flesh. Okay? Let me get, um... Luke 22... Luke 22 and 31 it says and the Lord said unto Simon Simon behold Satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren you see? So the Lord prayed that our faith fail not. And this is about having faith because Satan is, is going to try to get us to... Look, we can see that all the proper... The effect of every vision is here. We can see the mark of the beast. We can see uh, 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 the Gentiles coming in. We can see the Israelites that, 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 that are scattered, are, are lifting up. We can see the division of America, a.k.a. Babylon. Okay, we can see the wars, the rumors of wars... How the Lord is mustering up the host of the battle for the day of Armageddon. Okay? We can see all these things, but Satan can still try to come in and, and, and get to our flesh. Now, the, the MOTB. Okay? The mark of the beast, Revelation the 13th chapter. This devil can, 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 can try to play with your flesh and play with your mind on, on taking that, your, by, by taking a chip so you can provide for your family because he's going to play on your faith. Okay, he's gonna play on if you really believe, and that's his job. But that's why we're supposed to be we're supposed to be um on point. We're supposed to be in the spirit. Okay, so it says this is First Peter five and eight. Okay, and look now, Yahushua told Peter and Luke that he desired to sift him. Okay, this is why Peter is giving an account, okay, on how you're supposed to be focused. This is First Peter 1 and 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant. So like, yeah, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So a roaring lion. If a lion is hungry, if a lion hasn't eaten in four days, okay, well, the first gazelle the first animal he sees he's gonna attack and that and that and that and that's how satan is operating the spiritual demon satan he's um the movie of fallen denzel washington okay those spirits is gonna be jumping on people and people and people and people and those uh uh that that's that's gonna be um like a way of distraction okay you're going to come through your, your, maybe your woman, maybe your mother, maybe your father, you know, maybe um, uh, a doctrine. Okay, them spirits are going to keep on jumping to see if you're going to uh, 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 follow follow with that vibration. And it'll, and it'll knock you off course, okay? It'll knock you off course to the point where you don't want to do the truth anymore. It'll knock you off course to the point where you begin to get offended at what's going to come to pass. See? persecution is coming you see the spiritual demon satan is going to try to get you offended and afraid of the persecution okay by by, by your thoughts oh shit it's happening damn they're trying to uh how am i gonna eat how's my children gonna eat how's my my woman gonna eat how am i gonna eat them thoughts you see what's on the news they're trying to lock down this and lock down that world this devil is going to try to play on your mind to get you to lose hope in Yahweh Hashem El Shai. That's why the scripture says, "Be sober." Okay, it ain't talking about the the liquor or the, the wine 
of soberness, you know, when you, you know, you, when you have, when you have drink, it's talking about being sober mentally, being clear minded, you know, being able to understand and perceive things spiritually as it takes place. That's being sober, be vigilant, vigilant, uh, uh to be vigilant, meaning to perceive, to, to, to see clearly. Okay. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, your enemy, those that the person that is contrary to you, the devil. Okay, as a roaring lion seeketh, I'm sorry, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith. See, you got to have faith. You got to resist and stand fast, be steadfast in this ministry. Okay, you got to have a foundation. The foundation is Yahweh Shai. The foundation is we have, we're going to win at the end. Okay, it says. Seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So that's another comfort right there, is that we, we have brothers that's going through the same thing. The key ingredient is having faith that we're going to get through these, these obstacles. Faith is the substance of things that's hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we believe that there is a kingdom there is a everlasting life there's immortality there's righteousness after all of the hell that we're going through see the same affliction is in our brethren and the reason why Yahweh told Peter and Luke he said when you're converted go comfort your brother let your brother know that these things is going to happen that's why we make these uh, electronic epistles of a, 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 a admonishing and exhortation because we understand that the same thing is happening to the rest of the brothers, man. I mean, I'm talking about beginning with Apostle Tahar on down. Satan is trying to sift the prophets, the men of the Lord, to be scared, to be, uh, uh, to want to stop doing the work, you know? Want to uh, 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 lose faith. Okay? That's, that's Satan. You got to understand, you got to remember that. When it comes uh, in the form of a brother, when it comes in the form of rebuke, he can put these thoughts in your head as well. Oh, fuck that camp. Fuck them. They don't. They don't. They don't like me. They don't respect me. You know. When you get rebuked, oh, the hell with the apostles. They don't know what they're talking about. I know I'm right. You know. But those are the thoughts that are trying to come into your mind. Satan desires to have you. He wants you for his. He he don't want you to 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 be a part of the 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 the, the um. The part of the elect Satan's job See the hell with these people The rest of these people These niggas got demons on them. But you, you gotta remember, and remember Satan knew who Yahweh was Satan knew who Paul was You see he said Paul I know But who are you That's an axe When those spirits beat up on those dudes <laughs> Okay So the spirits The demons know who, we are the men, who the men of the Lord are that's why we go through so many trials and tests. Sometimes we fail, but in, in, in a lot of times we prevail. But if you keep failing and failing and failing, that means you're not watching. You're not being sober to Satan's devices. Scripture says, "Be not, um, uh, be not ignorant of Satan's devices, man." You ain't just talking about the spiritual demon Satan. Talking about, I mean, you ain't talking about the physical demon Satan. It's talking about the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, so we gotta be sober, be vigilant. It says, um, okay, that's it on that. Uh, let's go back to whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in, the, in, in, in your brethren that are in the world, but the most high of all grace. Whom he called us unto his eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahushai. After that, ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle, settle you. Okay? Let me read that again. But the most high of all grace, whom hath called us unto his eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahushai, right through the sacrifice of our, our Lord and Savior Yahushai. Has brought has brought forth the elect to repent to Yahweh Shimon Shah, therefore bringing us into glory. Those that repent 
Okay, and those that suffer for Yahweh's sake, those are the ones that's going to get the kingdom of heaven. Those are the ones that's going to be a part of that first fruit. Those that won't experience the second death. Okay? It says, make you perfect. Right. Our trials is going to make us perfect. Uh, our going through these afflictions and, 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 and what we go through, you know, to, uh, is going to make us one with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Innocent. Perfect. The word thumb, when it says uh, Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents, that plain goes back to the word thumb, which means perfect and innocent. You see? We're striving because we're fighting to be blameless. Before the throne of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's being perfect. Okay. It says, "To him be glory and dominion forever and ever." Amun Tawab. Okay. So, um, just something that I, you know, just thinking about two precepts that I had on my mind. Um, Satan the, the desires to have you. All right, trying to sift you. This ain't the time to be sifted. Okay. This is not the time to be sifted. This is the time to be grounded. This is the time to be rooted, strengthened. The scripture says those that stood so stiffly, you know, those that was not movable, even when Satan tried to come at them, what they do, they they, they, they came to the scriptures. An example is Jehovah shot when he fasted 40 days, okay? And what happened? Satan came, but what was Jehovah shot's defense? Staying to the scriptures. So at the end of the day, we must stay to the scriptures. Okay? That's that at the end of the day that to fight Satan, to fight that lion, alright, who, 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 who's roaring to and fro, is to stay in the scriptures. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The armor is the Bible. Okay? This is the key to success. This is the key. Um this is the key to fight against Satan. This is the key to fight against your flesh. All right? And things are getting a little more harder. You know, our flesh is, you know, the flesh it ain't shit. The flesh is weak. But we got to stay in the spirit to fight for our salvation. Okay? That's why Romans... That's why the scripture says, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. You see? No weapon is going to prosper against us. Okay? This is Romans 8. Romans 8 and 31, it says, what shall we... What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, we can, we, for us, who can be against us? Right. If, hey, hey, yeah, how should I pray? John the 17th chapter. He said he prayed that our faith does not faint. So we have all, the, we have all the, the extra tools to make it. We have all the extra ingredients to make, to, 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 to get to the kingdom. Through Yahweh Shai, we have the golden ticket. All right. It says, "He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he now? How how shall he not with him also rely uh, freely give us all things?" I'm sorry. It says, "Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? Is it the Most High that justifieth?" It is the most high that justifieth. Who is that condemneth? It is Hamashiach that died. Yea, rather, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the most high, who also maketh intercession for us. Okay? So we can't be condemned. Yahweh is on the right side, the right hand side of the throne, pleading our cause. Okay, hey, that brother right there, he, he, he's saying your name, he's doing the work, he's fasting, he's praying, he's giving reverence, and he's speaking the, uh, the, uh, the whole truth, uh, uh, nothing but the truth. He's speaking the, the, the doctrine the proper way. No guile, no deceit in his mouth. 
So the Lord is going to act as that intercessor or that mediator, okay, until the Father, Yahweh, all right, hey, that's that's the man. He's doing his job. He's being that lawyer to the judge. Yahweh, Yahweh is the judge. Yahweh is that mediator, which is a lawyer, okay? It says, who is, who is he that condemneth? It is Yahmashiach, Yahweh Shai, that died. Okay, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Right. All the adversities that we're going to face. Okay? So, all the adversities that, we, that we're facing, okay, is powered by Satan. Satan is coming with with, 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 with the with the um with the tribulations okay he's coming with with the persecutions he's coming with the perils he's coming with the sword and he's using it through the, you know the, the so-called white man he's coming with these different things but it's all powered up by satan you know and all of these things are to uh to, to, to get us to fall from the truth to get us to um uh um doubt yahweh by shimei was shy man it says, it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long, for we are counted a sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, in all, <laughs> in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, which is Yahweh Shai. For I persuaded that neither principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is which is in Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord Adawan, man. So we won't be able to be separated through the folly and the bread of circuses, through 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 through, through the witchcraft, through through uh, all these various distractions, through the woman, you know, through doctrine. We won't be distracted. We won't be separated from the love of Yahweh Hashem Shai, okay? Because He loved us and He laid His life down for us. And then he gave us the Holy Spirit. So there's really no way that we can lose. You see? There's no way that the prophets can lose right now. If we keep, if we, if we hold fast to this doctrine. Okay? So we got to be sober, be vigilant. We got to know that Satan is out here lurking. And we got to have that confidence that no matter what this devil tries to do, the physical demon Satan or the spiritual demon Satan tries to do, it's not going to get us to go from our mission. And that's what being a soldier is about. All right? Okay? To be a soldier of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Going through all these tests, going through these tribulations, going through these downtimes, being weak in the flesh, Satan touching our, our, our Satan touching our flesh. You know? Aches and pains, and we still got to get up and do the work. We still got to pray. We got to fast. We got to. Uh, study, we got to research, we got to go on the highways and hedges, we got to put up our lessons you know so that's pretty much it, I don't know what I'm going to title I'm going to title it, whatever the spirit gives me you know, but um, yeah man, understand that nothing, nothing, nothing is able nothing should not be able to stop us from continuing in this work, because we're at the end of this thing, the prophecies is here, you know we got to remember it and believe it everything is all believing all right, and with that call, I'm like, yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shy about Shimmy. How could I just break a thumb? Hey, that one is my apostle, great millstone. So I take the out of my four corners, pushing the truth, sincerity, love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. Shalom, Baba, Baba.